Oh my gosh. Well, that's quite a way to start off a video. Uh, that puma just growled right behind me. And yeah, I kind of wish I had been recording before that happened so you guys could have heard how loud that was. But my gosh, that kind of scared me. Uh, but anyway, today we're going after some pumas again. And I've actually got a bunch of kills from yesterday's live stream that we're going to include in this video. We had really good luck with uh, finding them. We didn't necessarily find anything massive, but we found so many different pumas that it made for a very exciting stream. And so I figured I'd include the highlights from that in here, but I also wanted to try something out. I want to see if we can get a kill on one of these with the Mosin. I think that could be pretty interesting, so we're going to try that on this guy. Uh, let's get to a spot where we can actually put the call down. Alright, so we'll go ahead and set this right here. Turn that on. I'm going to crawl just up here a little bit, and then we'll wait for it to come in, but... In the meantime, while we're waiting for this guy to come in, let's go ahead and get straight into the clips. Most of these kills were taken with the uh, the bow, actually, so it made for a very exciting live stream. It was a lot of fun, and I'm still pretty surprised that we managed to find five of them within the hour and a half that I was going for them. That was a puma over there, and of course we spooked him off. <laughs> we'll have to go track him down and try to get him to uh, come to the collar eventually. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, we aren't able to pick that up. Let's put the collar down. And let's turn on the Puma one. If I get the chance, I want to take this with the bow. But if it doesn't give us a shot, then we'll just use the rifle. Not seeing this guy coming in yet, unfortunately. I don't know how long it takes them to uh, walk in. I don't think they walk very fast, so we might have to wait a little bit. But we should he should be within collar range. Wait, I just had it pop up. <gasps> There's a puma right on top of us. Where? I see I see the spotting info popping up. But I don't know. And I saw another one too. Saw another over here. I don't know where it went though. <laughs> there it is. Right there. Got another one right there. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Oh my gosh. This thing's really close. Holy. Um. That looked like a decent shot. Oh my gosh. I think it moved as I shot, so that might not have hit where I wanted it to. We should be able to take this other one with the rifle, though. If we can get a shot at it. There it is. There it is. Okay. Let's get a spot on it. Then we will take the shot. Honestly, this one doesn't seem all that interested in the collar. I think this is the one that we saw earlier, so let's just take it out. This might be the one we spooked. And since we spooked it, there's a chance it probably won't even come to the collar. Looked like a good shot. Yeah, it'll go down. Okay, so it had started roaming again. Which means it should have died pretty close to us. Guessing it died pretty close, and this might actually be it right here. Yep, here it is. There's our Puma. And, I mean, that looked almost good. Like, it's just barely too far forward, I think. That looks... Man. That was almost a good shot, but not quite. Yeah, it was just slightly forward. 12.851. Well, first Puma of the day, at least. Might actually be him. Yeah, it is. There we go. There's our other one. Once again, we were just slightly far forward. Unfortunate. <laughs> really unfortunate. 12.4 on this one. Small one. All right, let's get this put down. We will see how this goes. 
round two of dropping a call for uh, Pumas. Hopefully it goes smoothly. Oh my gosh, it's so close. Holy, I did not realize it was this close. Oh my gosh. Um, please be a male. It looks darker than the other ones, so I've got high hopes. It's a female. It's a female again. Of course it would be another female. Well, we got it. Not a super good shot, but it'll go down. So that's three female Pumas down today. Man, that arrow looked good. Do you see that? That looks like it would have clipped at least one lung. I guess not the, wait, it was a left lung. <laughs> well, at least we got a lung. I don't know where that call came from, but that sent chills right down my spine. I'm tempted to move it. In fact, that's what we're gonna do because I don't like this position. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that. That was so close to us. Oh my gosh, that was not where I expected this thing to be. I didn't even really pay attention to whether that was male or female. Uh, it's gonna be a surprise. It is the, our first male of the day. Oh my gosh, 15.3, so it's a pretty small one. But not bad, we got a male puma down with the bow. That is awesome right there. Super awesome. Uh, we're gonna need to get it this way for a good picture. Uh, we'll have to go with that. Not bad though. Go ahead and sell that. Let's get this call a little bit further out in front of us. That way we've got a good idea of where we need to be looking. Alright, this looks perfect right here. Toggle the puma lure on and then let's get back to this rock. That rock's a sniper perch. It really is. It's honestly perfect for this. Oh my gosh, there it is. There he is. Oh my gosh. That was further left than I was expecting. Ah, oh, it went out of view right before I got it spotted. Please tell me this is a male. That's so cool. It's a male. Okay. There we go. We stuck it good, I think. It might have moved right as we shot, though. These things don't stay still for very long. That looks like a solid hit, though. Definitely a solid hit on that one. We'll keep watching it till it goes down, but that looked really good compared to the last few shots. I think, honestly, these things just run a lot farther than other stuff. These guys are resilient. To say the least. There we go. There's our Puma right there. He didn't run that far at all. He pretty much died right... Shortly after where we marked him, that looks like a solid shot. That looks like it should be good. Well, I guess we'll find out. 81 kgs, this seems like a small one. Yeah, 15.2, this is a tiny one. And we got left lung shoulder blade, so that was a single lung shot. Good enough, we'll go with that. Sell it, not bad. We've had some pretty good luck today, honestly. This close elk is not bad at all. I want to get a clear shot at him. Because he seems pretty decent. Yeah, he's a solid bull. Uh, he's only got single back tines, though. Ah, come on, man. It stops in the one spot where I can't actually... Hello, please let me. There we go. Did not drop it, okay. 
Moment of truth, how big is this guy? He's a solid bull, but he's only got a couple back times. <laughs> so that's definitely going to uh, hurt the score a little bit. Let's see what he scores. 356. I mean, that's not bad. That's a solid one. That's a decent one. Nothing crazy, though. There is our Puma. And it's a gray fur type. That is super cool. This is going to be the first uncommon slash rare that I've found of the Puma. And we're going to get to take it with the Mosin. That's going to be really, really cool. I'm super excited to get this thing close. I've been looking for one of these for the past couple days, ever since they released them. And we finally have a gray in front of us. That is a beautiful cat right there. What a beauty. Well, I suppose we should get lined up on this thing. What a beautiful cat. That thing is so cool. Let's get it down. There we go. Dropped it in its tracks. That is super awesome. What a beautiful cat. I'm so happy we finally got a gray one. That is really cool. And honestly, perfect timing, because I had no clue what this thing even looked like. I got the call from it and knew that I needed to make an intro for this video, and it just happened to be the fur type that I've been after. So that's super cool. Let's go ahead and claim it. Our first gray puma, 12.59 female. Not bad at all. Let's get a trophy shot of this thing. That is really, really cool. We'll probably taxidermize it just because it is the first uncommon that we found. Or at least I think it's an uncommon. For all I know, this could be a rare. That is super awesome looking. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love the way that looks. That is really cool. Now, because I don't know if this is rare or not, we will go ahead and tax it. Because I do really want to see one of these in the lodge. So, let's actually jump straight into the lodge and check it out. Alright everybody, now that you guys have seen all of the highlights along with the kill on this gray puma, we're now in the lodge to take a look at it. And I did go ahead and check the wiki to see if this was a rare, and it's just an uncommon, very similar to how it is in Call of the Wild. So that's good to know, but I'm glad we taxidermized it because it looks really, really good. I really like the way these look. And I think a goal for us is probably going to be to find a leaderboard gray puma. I think that's going to be one of the goals I'll set for the, pu the puma hunting in the near future. I think it's definitely not an easy goal to achieve, but I think it'll be a fun one to try and go for. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed all of the bow hunting highlights from the live stream along with the kill on this gray puma right here. But we're going to go ahead and end the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. It's the giant red subscribe button below the video. It'll make it so you guys will see my videos pop up in your uh, video feed along with, along with your notifications if you guys hit the... Uh, notification bell also be sure to like the video it's a massive help in getting these videos pushed out into other people's recommended feed which is a huge help in growing the channel but with that being said thank you guys for watching and i will see you all in the next video peace